We're gonna test everybody's metal. If you work at a comic book store, let's see your comic book knowledge. All right, let's go. All right. Oh my gosh. Brooke. Yes. What super team includes a sentient tree-like creature? Suicide Squad, Doom Patrol, Squadron Supreme, or Guardians of the Galaxy? Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol. Yikes. All right, so the correct answer is actually Guardians of the Galaxy. I know you're familiar with Groot. Yep. Okay, who originally appeared as an invader that intended to capture humans for experimentation. All right, all right, Grace. We are here with Test Your Comic Book Knowledge since you work at a comic book store. Yeah. All right, now, what superhero team has She-Hulk not been a member of? Ooh. Fantastic Four, S.H.I.E.L.D., Avengers, or Guardians of the Galaxy? Uh, Guardians? She-Hulk hasn't been a member of the Avengers and Fantastic Four, all that good stuff, but not a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Comics Elite, if you know your comic book knowledge, all right? Okay. And we're here with Kyle, okay? Or Kyle. Kevin. <laughs> or Kevin, either or, whatever suits you best. What was the first graphic novel? A Contract with God, The New Mutants, Watchmen, or Black Mark, The Mind Demons? <laughs> Let's go with the last one. That sounds like a fun title. Incorrect. Let's try it again. A Contract with God, The New Mutants, or Watchmen? Contract with God. There we go. Uh, contract with God and the other tenant stories published in 1978. The book is made up of four standalone stories that revolve around poor Jewish characters who lived in a in New York City. That sounds fun. They were written by Cal. Wow. No idea. Will Eisner. There we go. <laughs> All right, so the first one was a fail. Let's check it out. All right, Peter. Oh, All right, let's spin this chair Call around. Call you me. work at a comic book store. Let's see your comic book knowledge. All right. What member of the Inhumans did Johnny Storm date? Did Johnny Storm, I don't know. Medusa, Crystal, Luna Maximoff, or Sephiris? Medusa? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's try it again. Uh, I don't Crystal? do Inhumans, bro. Crystal? Sapphire? All right, so it was Crystal. Inhuman with the ability to, uh, I can't read that word, control four classic elements. Oh, okay. And in, in my defense, I did not know that question either. I, I don't. No, no one knows Inhumans, man. All right. What is the name of the Doctor Strange's home in Greenwich Village? Oh, it's uh, uh, you need the actual address? No, no, nope, just the name of it. The Sanctum Sanctorum. Got it right. The Sanctum Sanctorum is res uh, the residence of Doctor Strange. The building first appeared in Strange Tales, issue 110. It's on Blecker Street, yeah. All right, all right, cool, cool. What color was a hawk when he was originally introduced? The Incredible Hulk? What color was he originally? Green, gray, purple, or red? He was gray. Stan Lee originally wanted the Hulk to be gray because he wanted a color that wouldn't suggest any particular ethnic group. Perfect. Mm. No, not so? I, I, don't, no, I don't believe that's true. No. no. It would, but the he, color is Stan Goldberg had problems with the gray coloring because often yeah. in different shades of gray. That, that was essentially the, the problem. Okay. Yeah, yeah, even green in the first issue. So. Yeah. All right. Captain Leonard McKenzie fathered what superhero? Captain America, War Machine, The Punisher, or Namor? Or Namor? Say, oh, a Namor. Is that the answer? Yeah. Hmm! After Princess Fed of Atlantis made of the human sea captain, she gave birth to the first human Atlantean hybrid, Namor the Submariner. Mm -hmm. Why did Michael Jackson try to buy Marvel Comics in the 1990s? He wanted to play Spider Man in a movie, they wouldn't let him write comics, he wanted to publish a Michael Jackson comic book. Where he want he wanted to sell all the characters to DC. As far as I know, he wanted to play Spider-Man. Michael Jackson wanted to play Spider-Man so bad that he attempted to buy comic Marvel Comics just to make it happen. You, sir, know a lot about comics. Thank you. We appreciate your time. No here. problem. All right, all right, we, all right. We're gonna see if the owner of Comics Elite knows his comic stuff. All right, let's go to uh, the next page. Let's do it. All right, who was Rick Reed Richards' roommate in college? Victor Von Doom, Ben Grimm, Johnny Storm, or Tony Stark? Well, it depends on which which uh, story you want, origin story you want to go with. It was Victor Von Doom, but in the oh, some comics it says Ben Grimm, but it was Victor Von Doom. Right, let's see Ben Grimm. 
You were right, yeah. <laughs> While attending State University, Reed Richards began designing a starship capable of traveling in hyperspace. Reed shared his plans with his roommate, Ben Grimm, who jokingly volunteered to pilot the craft. <clears throat> what is the best-selling comic book of all time? Superman number 75, X-Men number one, Amazing Spider-Man 583, or Batman number 428? Out of all of those? Out of all of those, which one? Say it one more time. Superman number 75, X-Men number one, Amazing Spider-Man number 583, or Batman number 428? What do I feel like it's Spider-Man number 583? You want me, is that your final answer? Do you want to call a friend? Can I use my 50-50? Yeah. Yeah, what's my 50 It's either X-Men or Batman. It's gotta be X-Men. It's, it's X-Men if it's going based, like, did the original X-Men sell that well? Is it adjusted for inflation? I know. Let's do X-Men. Although it's probably the other one because it's adjusted for inflation because more one? people bought it. Pick one. I'm gonna say X-Men. Okay. Yep, in 1991, Marvel rebooted the X-Men with four variant covers and a special gatefold cover. Oh, so it's not the original number one. It's a remake of it. Bye, Brad. You're losing your job today. It was very fun questioning you. This is a, this is a really interesting knowledge. way to lose my job. All right, guys. All right, I'll see you guys in the next slide. <laughs>